We're just a stone's throw from the Delaware River. We've got some water to contend with ourselves. A steady rain falling at Lincoln Financial Field. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Carolina Panthers and the Philadelphia Eagles. And this carries into the end zone. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. Miles Sanders first carry of the game. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Miles Sanders. If you start assessing what went wrong last week, Charles, in their loss, had nothing to do with the ground game. They ran it well. And you also have to say to yourself as a team, don't go away from what worked. That's not the reason the game was lost. Running the football over time when you do it consistently usually translates into wins. And they're hoping to do it consistently here. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. They'll run with Sanders. As Sanders has it poked free. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Recovery. And hopefully for both sides, not a sign of things to come, Charles. This morning, it was so perfect outside, but we knew this weather was coming, and we see the effects of it here early on. And I wonder if how perfect it was this morning has psychologically fooled everyone. You know, it's almost like even though we were told the weather was coming, and you know the teams knew it as well, that maybe they got fooled and thought, ah, it's going to be okay. And now they're probably a little upset that yeah, it's out there. Because right? warm-ups were dry. Oh, well, dry. Now you've got to make the change up, and it's the first quarter. Might take them a little time to settle in on their focus and concentration. That throw into the arms of Allen and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. The 42 yard line. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. The ball carrier. A gain of three, second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 19. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. And he may want to track down that football because that's interception number one on his career. You're saying that's going into the trophy case? I'd put it there. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game. But if you play in the back seven on defense, that's part of your job, finding ways to take the ball away from the other team. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain.
After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now a run with McCaffrey. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, gives yourself, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front and linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And finally taken down at the 20-yard line. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage in their clearing space. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. At the Eagles' 21-yard line. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Here's McCaffrey. He's to the 10. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Christian McCaffrey. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Panthers are going to take a first quarter lead. Well, partner, that's another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, or they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. Steps away. And that is incomplete here. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. He'll get this one complete to Zay Jones. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. 
A big play there on the catch and run. 62 yards. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. No right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. And goal. Of the ball mere inches from the white line on third and goal. They'll try to run with Sanders. And he's in. Touchdown, the Eagles. Miles Sanders with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. likely going to be an issue all night here on a rainy night, but this one is good. The game at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior. Big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. one across the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fooled them with the inside run. And nine. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Operating from the gun. Brennan. He's going to fire one. Deep left sideline. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Love the idea, love the concept, but you got to leave a little room on the sideline so he can fade into it when he makes the catch. That was thrown too close to it for the receiver to make a play. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. And he's got his target. That's more. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. First down, Carolina. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 37-yard line. They run the option here on first and 10. That's out to the left, flat and complete. 
A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam coming out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 18. It's a gain of 17 yards. Give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. the shotgun to McCaffrey and he gets it down close to the 10 yard line it's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three well no matter how they phrase it staying on schedule staying ahead of the sticks whatever you want to call it seven yards on first down that fits the bill A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. McCaffrey. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. They got two of the three they needed there. Leaves them with third and just a yard. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. Partner, in our years together, we've never really run into a player that's admitted a, a doubt or a lack of confidence, right? But right now, I'm just wondering about that interior line because I'm deep. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. touchdown. Christian McCaffrey with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Panthers have taken the lead. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Makes the score Panthers 14, Eagles 7. Joey Slide. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. This taken in about four yards deep. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. 25-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people are focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down into those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the passer. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down there on a pick out the 25. Now Sanders. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to seven.
Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Throwing from the gun. It's Hurts. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. That's a 34-yard line. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, He's quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, line. he was there. Yeah, blink of an eye. That happened fast and a big sack. Third and 15 here after the first and second down plays went in the wrong direction. He'll take his shot for the end zone. Oh, it's a touchdown if he holds on. Instead, it's fourth down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. That'll go down as just a 20-yard punt. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They have the lead now. They'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half and they've had an ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. At the 23, it's second and 12. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. Complete. A gain there of 21 yards. A gain of 21 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play... Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving. Scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first and ten, Brennan. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. The first down screen pass, good for five. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. 
And a quick throw here. That's complete. Brennan's pass. Only three complete. yards on the Number catch. 84. It's third down. A three-yard pickup. And it's third down. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. Well, they gave themselves options there on the third down play and were able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. On first down. Brennan escaping the pressure right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. They'll try the left side. Play. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Craig. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. No gain on the play that time, but it sets up second and goal. Play leads to second and goal at the Eagles. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Again, McCaffrey. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, his third touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is lets you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because... You have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Second and six, just inside the 30. Mike 
Now a carry for Sanders. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Hurts to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. begins with a run by McCaffrey and he'll get this up past the 45 of the 47 a nice run there nine yards and it'll be second down well that last run makes this a hundred yard night I've loved the way he's hit the holes he's been quick he's been decisive and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. McCaffrey with the first down and more. And down to the 29-yard line. 23 yards to pick up there. The safeties were well back there, and he had a lot of room. Were they in the cover, too? Yeah, they were, and the safeties were back. You know, usually they're 12 to 15 yards off the line of scrimmage, somewhere around the hash mark for each of them. But what also happens, if the linebackers dive into the line, if you block them initially, that blocker can come off of them and get up to the safeties on the second level, and now you've got a big place to run the football. They'll look to throw here on first down. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're going to throw the football for triple option, you've actually called that play. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. This is McCaffrey. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And they're going to face a third down. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Panthers on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This is third and seven. A 
Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. A gain of two yards on the play. Brings up Joey Sly on now for the Panthers. Joey Sly on for the field goal. A 29-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that will swell the lead to 16. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. 25-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to put it away. Blitz coming and down he goes. It's Khalil Mack that time shooting in there to get him to the ground. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sad. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. The Eagles on third down, two for five to this point. This will be a tough third and 18. Going deep here for Allen. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Monte Nicholson picks it, and the return stops at the 39-yard line. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games, and now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. Charles, you said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but this offense, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, they've had an answer for it. First, it's McCaffrey. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now a give right side. It's Craig. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. And it's... Third down. They'll run with McCaffrey. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. It's now fourth down. And 
for the second time tonight. This field goal unit comes out here. This to make it a three-score game late. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I, though? Take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And the complexion of this one has really changed a fair amount. That last field goal makes it a three-score game, so they need points in a hurry with time dwindling in the fourth quarter. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far, and it's cost them. They go play action with Hertz. Flush to his right. And this is going to be incomplete. Hurts. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone. And the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Hurts. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. Partner's bad enough when you just can't hold on to the football. But when your quarterback's throwing it to the other team, that's three interceptions now, four turnovers for the game. You really have no chance to win the football game. try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On second down, McCaffrey. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. He's brought down. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. On third down. Crank. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. He'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play. And that's going to lead him to fourth down. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I feel very confident about this kick. But 
let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. His throw incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended receiver. But now it's third down. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Play action. Here's Hurts. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. That gain on third down, good for 28. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zay Jones that time. And that'll bring up second down. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Hurt sets up to throw it. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice, long, soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. Throwing his hurts. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Monte Nicholson picks it, and he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. For this defense, CD, that's kind of the icing on the cake here as we get to the end of this one. And didn't you feel that they weren't just going into total prevent there? You know, they had the lead, and sometimes you fall back and you lose your aggressiveness. Not in this case. They were still making a play on the football, and look how that one turned out. They may have salted this one away. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Tackled by Reggie Robinson. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get him behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Got a first down as he's up to the 48. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lob has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. down. It's Craig. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. 
final score, Panthers. Right, I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. So this one is over. A victory for Carolina. And you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter, but second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you say baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time and the hitters get to see him, and then they come out after that and the bats start blazing, right? I think they saw their best stuff in the first quarter and just shut everything down from that point on. What a great convincing performance. So for the Panthers, they boost their record up to a strong 4-1. And, and they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Seattle Seahawks. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, the loss will move them back to 3-2 and two on the year. And they'll try to rebound next week on the road in Washington.